my God, that's genius. Genius, genius, right? The simplest thing was genius. And so Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea and here on this channel we talk about all things related to mature living for the single woman over 50. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about three holiday travel items that I feel that you must have as we prepare for this holiday season and holiday travel. If that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Now I don't know about you but for me November, December, I have a lot going on. I'm going out of town this weekend. Then I'm gonna be traveling in the month of December. And um, I also do a lot of weekend travel, quick trips, right? And so a lot of times there are just some things I like to be able to just pick up really quickly, pack a small bag or a big suitcase um, and be able to you know, flow easily without looking all over trying to find things because that can happen a lot let's just be real as we as we age and as we accumulate things and as you know preparation just takes longer right i don't know about for you but for me it's a whole thing and so i want to share three items today that i think is very necessary and i'm going to share with you how i use those and so the first thing is a traveling jewelry case i picked this up from Amazon. I'm not sure if I've ever talked about it before, but I love this because um, when you're traveling, right, where do you put your earrings? And I don't know about you, you know, kudos to the women who travel light, pack light and carry a small bag. Love you for that. It's just not your girl here, right? I don't know how I'm going to feel. I don't know what kind of jewelry I may want to wear, silver, gold, hoops, studs, pearls or whatever. And so what I find by having this case, right, and uh, taking it with me and having things in it all the time, all I have to do is just pick it up, uh, maybe throw an extra pair of earrings or something in it, but I'm able to have it on standby for when I travel, right? So this jewelry case is the bomb.com, okay? <laughs> so it is very compact, right? They have a variety of colors, I believe, but it has so many cool compartments. And listen, I keep this stocked I know as women, most of us have a lot of jewelry. Kudos to those of you who, you know, are able to wear like the same jewelry. Nothing wrong with that, but I just have so much, right? And a lot of times I'm not sure what I want to wear with a particular outfit. So I try to keep a variety in here. This jewelry case has um, a couple different compartments. So first of all, if you're into studs or you have a lot of studs, you can keep them right here. There's a little um, board and you get to put the, you know, the what do you the backings on them there right so i usually just keep um some faux pearls and faux diamond studs there right i can take those always dress those up or down and then in the back it has a k um like little faux hooks if you will where you can keep your bracelets i have two bracelets here i have a silver necklace here and a gold necklace and i try and keep a variety so again i can just grab this take it with me and i'll have something you know to match with whatever i'm wearing you know generally generally right all right and then if you look down it has an area for your rings i usually try to keep a couple of rings there here's where i keep my hoops i usually keep this one bold necklace in here it's gold you know gold tone if you will so that i'll have something bold there a couple of gold hoops here and another ring that doesn't necessarily fit it might fit in here but it's a bolder ring that i keep but it has a lot of compartments you see where you can put your rings here whatever other jewelry you want there and then a wide section there you can see and i just usually try to keep a bold necklace or something like that I'm in there. And so when I'm traveling, again, even on the weekend, I just throw this in my overnight bag. If I'm heading somewhere, it makes things so much easier in travel when it comes to jewelry. And then as you're packing too, if you fit, if you feel that there's something in addition that you want to wear, um, uh, carry with you in terms of jewelry, you can just toss it right in there, zip this up, 
and know that your jewelry is going to be uh it's not going to tangle up it's going to be easy and uh easy for you to put your hand on right so this jewelry case i will put a link below from um amazon is where i picked it up from okay the second thing that i think that is a must for holiday travel is a hanging toiletry bag now i talked about this a little before but i'm gonna go on a limb here you guys i'm gonna open up and just show you exactly what's what's in here now i picked this up at ross a couple of years ago um i know i did not pay over 12 bucks for it i want to i feel like like really like 9.99 but you can find this type and this style of hanging toiletry bag anywhere i've seen them for years at ll bean in their catalog but i'm sure you can you know maybe find one on amazon or something but this is wonderful now what i love about this particular one see how soft it is so there's a lot of times when i have really overstuffed this thing and the zipper works great and it is a little malleable if you will right so i can kind of fit it in a bag or my suitcase pretty easily right so um so let's take a look inside uh, of the bag that i have here i love this because you can hang it anywhere okay in the bathroom in the hotel wherever you are and then you can just grab your things out of there so for me the first section i usually keep my um you know toothpaste listerine one is a listerine bottle but i actually have um like crest whitening wash teeth wash. i know i said this before it is not it's mouthwash <laughs> right um in here and i have i have two tubes two tubes of toothpaste one is crest and the other is rembrandt you guys i love rembrandt rembrandt tooth paste which is a whitening toothpaste that i purchased from amazon uh, one of my favorites so i'm not sure if you can see it here but if you are looking to whiten your teeth which a lot of toothpaste hold on a second a lot of toothpaste tooth paste claim to whiten your teeth but i have found this rembrandt really effective and i can only find it on amazon i think it's in some stores but i used to be able to find it in target i can't anymore so i just order it from amazon and i use this toothpaste when i had my braces back in like 20 i had braces i mean 2013 or 14 i had them on for like two and a half years and i wanted to make sure that my you know teeth were staying white behind those braces and everything i was just a super um uh super adamant about that and this worked really good so this is my favorite go-to toothpaste just you know just shout out sh shout out to rembrandt i really like that so um now now here's the thing i know that these toothpastes are not travel size so um if i was going to hop on a plane i would change these out for travel size and i think i have some somewhere that i keep but anyway i keep those in there then in my second section i have um i'm just showing you what i have in here this is doo -doo -doo -doo, ordinary hyaluronic hydrolonic higher mm, i always get that mixed up hyaluronic acid by the company ordinary i keep deodorant in here as you can see this little case has my face moisturizer. This little case has my facial wash. This has lotion in it, body spray. And then this really should be in my makeup case, but this is um, like a face, um, Lord have mercy, not primer, setting spray. A setting spray I have in here. I'm not really sure why I keep this in here, but it's in here anyway. Okay, and then as we move down a little bit more, you'll see I have razors cotton pads there's a band-aid behind there a couple of makeup products a little pumice stone for the heels or something in case i need it and a couple of q-tips okay and then in this bottom part there's another part look how long this is guys this is absolutely great and then that section which actually zips off which is super cool right this is where i keep all my feminine products so you know um I mean, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I keep those panty liners and things like that in here um, just in case because, you know, I think I said in the last video, I, I'm still very, very regular in terms of my monthly. So, and then I always keep a, and this is just my own hang up. I like white washcloths. I only use white washcloths, but I always keep one. So don't, don't, don't ask me. Weird. Yes, I know, but 
Um, that's what I like. But nevertheless, a hanging tro <laughs> hanging toilet travel case is essential item number two for your holiday travel. Okay, so before we get to the last holiday travel item that I think that you need to have, one of your must-haves, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you have your passport? Yes, ladies, over 50, do you have your passport? Can you believe I just got this passport maybe three months ago and I am 55, I'm almost 56, right? And I wanna come for this commercial break <laughs> to tell you that even though we are maturing, if you have not been out of the country, it is not too late to plan some trips, right? To plan some trips, listen, whether you have someone to go with, whether you're gonna do it solo, there are so many solo groups and solo, um, not solo groups, um, group travel, group travel. Travel groups for women, right? Where you can meet people, you guys can travel together or you can travel alone. It's totally up to you. But I want to encourage you in 2025 to do more travel and preferably internationally. Now I will say this, I have actually been out of the country, um, but it was many, many years ago. I went to the Bahamas and I've been to Canada several times. But when I went to Canada, you did not need a passport. Okay, so in 2025, your girl is going to get her. I heard they don't even stamp them anymore. I don't know. Whatever they do, I'm gonna be using this passport beginning in 2025. So I want to encourage you that if you do not have it, get it so that when opportunities arise, you already have it. You don't have to worry about it, right? And so I actually had applied for my passport back in 2020 and when i applied for it in 2020 during covid it took a long time i think generally it takes four to six weeks it was much longer and they finally sent me a letter that said my birth certificate didn't have some type of stamp on it or whatever so i had to go back to connecticut get a whole thing la 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 um kept putting it to the side putting it to the side but I finally went ahead and completed the task <laughs> of getting my passport. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I just wanted to come and encourage you as well that it's never too late, okay? It's never too late to do and go and be whatever you desire. I'll say it over and over again. A lot of times people count us out after 50 or 60 or 40. You know, think about when you were younger, we thought, oh my God, 50 is incredibly old and it is not. Um, it's just an amazing season. I am so happy and fulfilled um, in this season of my life. I, I, I can't even tell you. And I know that God has so much more for me. So I want you to open your, you know, I want you to expand your territory in 2025. I want to encourage you to get that DAG on passport before the year's end, if you can. And if not, um, you know, at the top of 2025, so you can get some international travel in. Personally, I have done a ton of domestic travel all across the United States. Like there's probably maybe five or mm, maybe five states I have not been to, which is more like Midwest, Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, that area. I have not really explored Utah, but I've been a lot of places domestically. And now I'm ready to spread my wings and get out here and enjoy everything that the Lord has for me. And I hope that you keep your mind, your spirit, and your attitude open to travel more in 2025 as well. So the next thing is a travel makeup case. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of makeup, right? And so when I travel, it is always challenging for me what to take, what not to take, forgetting something, all the things. And so um, a few months ago, I picked up this travel makeup case and it is a good size. You guys can see it. And I got it from Amazon um, and it has a mirror. Now I'm not, my mirror is broken, but I'm not going to buy another one. So I just want to show you the makeup. The, it's, it's broken here. Hold up. It opens this way. It has a, here we go. It has a mirror, a lighted mirror, by the way, where you can adjust it. 
which I have, even though my mirror is broken, I'm still able to get some use from it when I'm out and traveling. Uh, I'm just not going to buy another one right now. <laughs> I'm just not. Um, and I'll link it below, but I did get this from Amazon. Uh, one of the other things I love about it, it has a takeout uh, case or place where you can put your makeup brushes. Let me turn that light off. And it has different color lights, guys. You see that as well? Where you can put your makeup brushes on and it sits in here the brushes sit on the top here okay now lots of little compartments and i keep this stocked with some basics so i can grab this and there's a few um, makeup items that i keep in my purse right i can just grab this bag and i know i'll have everything that i need in here so here let me just give you a couple examples i have some travel cologne which is dolce and cabana light blue i keep in here this is to charge, this is the core that can charge this light to this makeup case. So I keep that in there. I also have um, a smaller size of Obsession Cologne. That's my old school one I like. I have mascara, concealer. Just give me some ideas of what you can keep in here. Let me stick these back in that compartment. Um, then I have another setting spray. This is NYX. You saw the other one that I have. I've been using, I go from this one. I change out on my setting sprays, but that's what I'm using currently. Um, I always keep my NARS in here. This is my favorite foundation. I use other things too, because, but this is more expensive. So, you know, depending on what, I, what my need is. Um, I still have a little bit of this milk setting Primer, primer. Y'all, what is going on with my words today? I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll stay in this middle compartment. Um, eyeliner, another mascara, and a this is a facial uh, facial moisturizer by Sarah V. I got this like as a gift or something from Ulta. So I threw it in here, even though I have moisturizer in my other case. I keep a beauty blender in here. Uh, here's some more primer, e.l.f. primer that I use. What else do I have in here? I have a contour stick in here. Just giving you guys some ideas of what fits in here. Um, I don't know why I have this little plastic bag for something. And, oh, I forgot I had this. Is this another one? Look at this. Wait a minute. I need to put this out in my bedroom. But this is another Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana light blue perfume. I think that came as a set. Um, I'm just going to hold it up so you can guys can kind of still see it. I have like a little mirror that I keep in here in case I want to look behind me or whatever. It's a little mirror with a magnifier on it. I keep a set of lashes in here along with lash glue. So if I'm traveling, I want to get, I don't wear lashes regularly, but I have them in here. I have a clipper, a couple of rods back when I had my sewing. And sometimes I'll curl the end of, um, my braids or something. So I keep a couple of those in here. What else I have in here? Um, kind of a natural eyeshadow color. I have some NARS bronzer. I think I've shown this before. It's one of my favorite bronzers, but I keep it in here. Like it's kind of like I can put the best in here, right? My favorites. So this is a nice bronzer. And this is, don't get me lying, let me see. Laguna, Laguna bronzer by NARS. Um, and then I have a pencil sharpener for, a sharpener for lip liners and eyeliners and things of that nature. So I will link it below, but you definitely need a travel makeup kit. This is the one that I use and maybe you don't need all of this and be as extra as I am, but keep a makeup, you know, kit, if you will, or travel bag already in it with, you know, dupes of your favorite things. Cause some of the things I have in there, like I'll buy smaller versions or sometimes, you know, you may buy an eyeliner or something, get two. If they're not really, really expensive, get two, pop one in there for your travel bag and, you know, keep one wherever you keep your daily makeup at. So that's what I um, do. And so when I'm getting ready to travel, those three things I can just grab and be on the go. I try to keep them stocked with everything I need. 
and it makes travel so much easier, you guys. And so this is the season of local travel, international travel, big trips, small trips, whatever it is. These three essential items will make your traveling much easier during this holiday season. Okay, in addition, I wanted to give you a little tip too, and I think this can be very helpful in traveling. Several months back, I heard, um, I wanna say it was Alicia Geddes talk about this, maybe it was even last year, I can't really remember, but about um, her undergarments, making all of her undergarments black. Now, here's the thing, I like my undergarments to match right? But I would find that sometimes I'd find one color bra and couldn't find the matching panties and this, that, and the other. And as simple as it sounds, guys, she was saying, you just go all black. And I'm like, oh my God, that's genius. Genius, <laughs> genius, right? The simplest thing was genius. And so I basically, for the most part, adopted that in my undergarments. I buy everything black, for the most part, every now and then I'll stretch out, but I have black bras, but of course, different types of bras, half bras, all of that, different types of panties, different types of style, but I keep them all black. Or maybe if you like natural colors or you like all white, but what I'm saying is even when it comes to travel, makes it so much easier. All black bras, all black undergarments, everything matches, you know, if you're matching. If you don't care, then that's different. But I thought that this was just an ingenious little tip that I have picked up from another influencer on YouTube either early in the year or sometime, I feel like maybe last year because I've been doing it for a while. But it makes traveling even easier when you're packing. So when you're packing your undergarments, everything already matches, everything is in sync and just been very helpful for me. So I just wanted to share that tip with you. All right, so let's quickly recap. Number one, your first holiday must have is your travel jewelry case. I'll link it again below from Amazon. Absolutely love it. The second thing is your hanging travel kit for your toiletries. So your hanging, hanging travel toiletry bag, right? And then last but not least, your makeup kit or makeup bag or tote or you know pouch whatever works for you but have those three things already packed and ready so hey all you have to do is pull your clothes out throw your things in overnight travel or your suitcase and have these and you'll have those basic necessities that uh you know we maturing women love to have and take with us wherever we may go you have it my three holiday travel must-haves okay so i want to hear from you you guys please comment i'm looking for somebody to comment i just want to hear something right so are you traveling a lot do you have a favorite travel item that you must have with you when you travel i would love to get some feedback and then also do you have a passport so at 55 or you know over 50 do you have a passport i would love to hear that feedback if nothing else yes or no uh, or maybe so, or working on it, right? So listen, um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, that you hit the like button here. Let me back up. Whoop. Subscribe. Come on, y'all. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Help me reach my 50. 50 would be a huge, uh, huge accomplishment for me on this channel if I get 50 subscribers. So you know, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you'll get all future notifications of my videos from here on out. Have a wonderful and blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.